Hey everyone. It's Kylie. You are watching this video inside of the Systems That Sell Facebook group. If you're new to me, okay, are we live now? All right. Hi, my name is Kylie Ulta and you're watching this video inside of the Systems That Sell Facebook group. If you're new to me, I am a business systems consultant and also a certified transformational coach and I combine my skills of coaching and mindset work and my love of systems and automation and combined it into helping you automate and scale your business. So today we're gonna to be talking about the number one thing that I see women investing in their business and spending money in their business where they should not be. Um, and there's a sub question that I wanna ask you, are you working on your weaknesses or are you leveraging your strengths? Okay, and I'm gonna dive deeper into this, but just let me know if this resonates with you. Um, if So give me a thumbs up if you've invested lots and lots of money in your business, only to find that you've been investing in the wrong programs, the wrong, like you think he, so you see a Facebook ad, right? And you're like, oh my gosh, it's going to help me do X, Y, Z in my business. And so you buy it, cause, right? It's marketing copy. It's very attractive. It, it has the pleasure you should experience and the pain points you're going to experience if you don't invest in, you know, in this X, Y, Z program. And so, of course, you buy it and you invest it. And because the hype on the pain points so strong, you find yourself investing in working on your weakness, right? Because nobody wants to have a business that you feel weak, you feel disempowered, right? And, um, right, this is where I see the biggest um, uh, discrepancy for myself. Like, I've done it, I've seen other people do it, and now that I have worked with six-figure, seven-figure, even eight-figure business owners, the number one difference I see in seven and eight-figure owners is they are investing in growing their business, right? They are investing in people to do the work that is not their strength, that is not their strong suit, right? People hire me because they are the visionary and I can take what people say and their thoughts, their dreams, their visions, their ideas, and I can map it out. And, um, you know, as a project manager, that was my job, right? The boss wants to do something. Take the idea, make it into a work plan, and produce the intended result. That's my strong suit. I know a lot of women that I've come across, especially women who are used to being self-sufficient, have a hard time letting go of control in their business. And this is really where I wanna um, sit on today because I see so many of you struggling and not wanting to outsource and really not um, wanting to, it's not even about giving up control. It's like you don't, well, there's one piece, right? There's the one piece about not wanting to give up control or even creative control to someone else who you think might not get you, right? And the greatest piece of advice that I've gotten this year was to hire someone who is better at it than you are, right? So, you know, recently I've hired a social media manager because I've, I've been horrible at keeping up with social media and posting consistently. I've invested in um, Linda. Linda's a part of this group. She is a content creation strategist. I've invested money into her. Um, she has a membership, and I also just invested into her two-day workshop that helps you get your 90 days of content done. Because even though I've invested in her membership, um, because of everything that's happening in my life, I have not 
had the time to carve out and sit down and create 90 days of content all in one swoop and have it all done. And I said, enough is enough. I'm tired of playing around. I'm going to invest. Hey, Linda, I'm talking about you, right? Yeah, so um, I saw that side chart. But, you know, investing in the thing that's going to help you get it done, right? And I see a lot of women investing in learning about things or even hopping onto all these free webinars or challenge. I mean, Linda just had a challenge, which is super great, but I took it one step further and I invested in the workshop because I know what I needed. And honestly, right, Linda and I have known each other for a long time. I hadn't invested in her because I wasn't ready, right? I didn't know where I wanted to be in my business, but now that I have worked with enough coaches and people who help me with my messaging and getting my offers and all of that together now I'm at a stage of my business where I'm ready to invest in content creation but I've bought stuff like marketing impact Academy like three years ago I bought uh, Pat Flynn's podcasting course I tell you I am the biggest sucker for buying deals right and I realized that's part of the, my scarcity mindset that I was brought up in to buy the sale, get the deal. Like it's two for one. You should just buy two. And I realized like, I don't need to buy things from a scarcity mindset anymore. I can buy things, um, just in time. So our coach, we have a, a coach, her name is Susan. She teaches us to just do just in time learning, right? Do you, are you running Facebook ads next month? No, then you probably don't need to attend a webinar on Facebook ads. You know, and do you need to hire a copywriter? Well, are you launching? Do you need like a long form sales page? If not, you're good, you know? Um, so it's all about really investing. Yes, now I'm a dynamite, yeah. <laughs> but really it's all about investing where you where you are at the moment and so this group is all about helping you create systems that you can use not only in your business but your everyday life because i'm the right my social media strategists were working on things together or my manager excuse me she's like if linda's the queen of content you're the queen of systems and i was like Yes, I am the queen of systems because uh, my coach and I were mapping out uh, my latest program on my offer. And he's like, do you have a system for us? I tell you, I have a system for everything. So my bonus stack for my group coaching program is going to be lit. I think I have about 20 different uh, systems as my bonus stack. So you'll... Well, that's coming down the pipe that's happening later um, in August and September. So I'm going to hold off on talking about that for now. But just letting you know that my group program is going to be the bomb, right? You're going to be getting all that mindset stuff to help you learn how to trust yourself and trust creating systems that will help you run your life and your business and actually trust yourself and how to delegate to others, whether you delegate to a system and or whether you delegate to an actual person and how to know that you're hiring the right person. Because honestly, you want to hire someone who is better at it than you are, right? That's why I hired Linda. She's the queen of content. I don't need, <laughs> I don't need to know anything more than that, except, you know, I need content and I go to Linda for that. Uh, social media manager like if you've seen the graphics posted on my Instagram lately I am at Aloha Unveiled on Instagram she created those graphics not me and they are out of this world bigger and better than I could ever dreamed of I almost cried when she showed me um, you know the outline of how she wanted to move my Instagram forward and I was like oh it's so beautiful I love it and that's so anyway, that is the joy that you will have once you create systems and automation and start outsourcing and outsourcing and delegating the things that you hate in your business 
and um, again I'm just gonna say it stop investing in courses and stop attending webinars for you to learn how to do something yeah if it's where you are in your business right now yes 100% go learn about it and um, if you are like me, I am a manifesting generator in the human design world. Um, I am a responder. So I do listen to a lot of content because it allows me to hear something and then it resonates in my spirit. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. And then it lights me up and then I'm able to create from that, that point. But I, for me, I know I need some kind of stimulus in order for me to like, jumpstart my engine and then I get going right um so that's that's just how I work and how I operate um and so let me just recap right are you buying courses to fill your need uh, when should you should actually be outsourcing the work right you if you're not a copywriter you really should outsource Facebook ads just saying Right. Um, if you're not good at video, you should outsource that. Um, and also, I'm adding an in-house video editor to my team. Um, and yeah, so I'm so excited that I'm going to be having an in-house video editor. More on that to come. And she is going to be um, using this space. So I will no longer be in this space as of next actually as of tomorrow I will no longer be in this space my daughter will be moving in she is a video tech expert um, so she's gonna be taking over my office as her bedroom and I'm gonna be relocating to somewhere else I still haven't figured it out um, but anyway so I'm gonna have an in-house video editor and I'm so excited about that um, but yeah you know outsourcing I even outsource uh, grocery shopping because I hate it. I hate grocery shopping. I do. I mean, my husband and I do it together and kind of use it as a date night. But if I go by myself, I, I hate it. I don't like it. That's what Instacart is for. That's what Costco.com, we know that Costco has Instacart now. So it's amazing. And just think of it. I save myself, right? Parking at Costco, like trying to find a parking space, getting in line. I don't know about your Costco's, but it's it's kind of like Disneyland at ours where you have to wait outside and then you get in and then you shop and then you have to stand in those long checkout lines. I swear it's like three hours just to do one Costco run. Crazy, right? And not to mention the time you spend walking around your house trying to put together a list because you know the next time you go to Costco, it's not going to be until like next month or so. Like, who goes to Costco just for eggs? I do see people do that, and I think that that's kind of crazy because I try to batch as much as I can in my personal life, just like how Linda teaches us to batch our content. And so, yeah, outsource whatever you can, um, and it doesn't even have to be expensive, right? Amazon. Amazon is a perfect example of outsourcing. Um, so, yeah, that's number one. And number two, I see people paying, paying to learn something that they should be outsourcing. Like, um, you should honestly be paying people to do things or at least create an automated system around the thing that you totally hate in your business. And if you could just do me a favor, if you're watching this now or on the replay, type in that one thing that you really, really hate doing in your business or in your life. Like, if you hate doing laundry, type laundry, because I would type that right now. I already told you I hate grocery, grocery shopping. <laughs> and I know that I hate social media. I just, um, uh, because I've done social media management in a company before, I, I don't like it. I don't like it, so. Those are the three things that I would definitely just get rid of today. So just type in the comments, what is the one thing you would love to outsource or get rid of today? And then the last thing, um, the last point I wanted to talk about is stop buying courses to learn stuff.
that you should really be outsourcing, right? Um, like learning about Facebook ads, it's good. It is good, but how much better would it be to, um, I do agree, as a leader, we should know what's happening in all areas of our businesses. Good, okay, so Linda's saying she would outsource Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Right, which she is because she has a social media manager and um, which is also my social media manager, which is how I found my social media manager, which is Sheila, um, who is also um, helping me admin this group. Yeah, and oh, <laughs> I have another question. What is the one course? So I have what someone referenced as a Dropbox Cemetery, right? So your Dropbox Cemetery is the place where you house all of these online courses that you never used or implemented. Type a one if you have a course like this sitting in your inbox or sitting on your hard drive or sitting in your Google Drive somewhere. Just give me a one so I don't feel alone. Um, and then after you type a one, because I'm pretty sure everyone watching this will type a one, what is that one purchase that you've made that you're like, oh my gosh, I should never have bought that? Like, what was I thinking? So my my uh, most dreaded course thing that I bought, no offense to Pat Flynn, but it was the podcasting course. And it, of course, I got suckered in at a live event. You know, when you go to a live event, I'm just telling you, I've been behind the scenes of live events and oh yeah see linda bought a 37 dollars facebook ads course uh but yeah i was at a live event and i'm telling you there's psychological nlp stuff that they put into these programs at live events that that trigger you to buy because i've been on teams that hosted live events and i'm t it's it's lined up to, to get you to buy at a certain point in the program. I'm telling you, it's a psychological trigger. And all right, I bought like pot, the podcasting course at Shalene Johnson's live event. Um, oh, Linda, if you want, um, we can talk about it and I can tell you if it was good. I just wasn't ready. Linda, I think you might be ready for it because you have content. At the point where I bought it, I was like, I'm just buying it because it was, um, he had just, like he had never launched it before. It was super beta and I got in at the ground floor deal. Telling you how many things I bought at ground floor deals. Oh my gosh, raise your hand if you bought, if you bought someone's beta program <laughs> just because you got a deal on it. Um, but yeah, um, that was the biggest, I don't regret purchasing it because I made a lot of good friends through um, taking his program. One of my really good friends, Queen Atahi, she was on my last Fierce Feminine Friday episode. She's um, also Polynesian, she lives in Hawaii, and we were just talking about, you know, that stuff. But we connected, so it was predominantly like mainland, not white, but... In Hawaii, we call them Haole. Haole just means foreigner. So it's a predominantly Haole group. And right, Queena and I are, are both from Hawaii. And so like, oh, she's from Hawaii. She's from Hawaii. And then that's how we connected. And now we're really good friends. So I don't regret anything that I buy because um, they, it always leads me to a connection. And... I always know that I'm always in the right place to receive what I need to receive at the moment. And learning about podcasting was really great. It helped me to apply that information to what I did in the summit because my summit was an audio only broadcast. So um, I never really regret any purchases, but if the one th that's the one course that I never used for the intended purpose that it was meant for. Let's just say, like, I never implemented any of it. Like, none. Like, I printed out all the worksheets. 
and I got stuck on who am I going to interview because I or like my the title and the image for my podcast because I had no idea what I was going to talk about. I still have no idea what I'm going to talk about in a podcast. That's why I do Facebook Lives because it's easy. I just hop on, talk about what I want to talk about and what, you know, for me, it's really about what God downloads to me to talk about and that's what I deliver. So having my 90 days mapped out with Linda this weekend, um, it's going to be a dream for me. I'm just so excited that I'll have 90 days of content mapped out. And then Linda, you can type in the comments um, if there are any spots open for your workshop and drop the link to join the workshop if you want to because if you're if you're ready honestly only if you're ready for it you should sign up for the workshop because it's going to be an intensive it's going to be an intensive workshop where you should already come with an idea you should we're going to be mapping out offers but should, you should already have an idea of what you want to offer before you hop into this workshop yeah it it wasn't sorry this wasn't meant to be a pitch for linda but um i just totally believe in what she's doing and i'm invested in it so if you want to invest in it go ahead totally invest in it um all of that being said do not invest in things that you're not gonna use now because uh, linda had an opening right linda you had a workshop was it last month or the month before? I knew I wasn't ready. I didn't sign up for it because I knew I wasn't ready. Um, and it didn't even matter if it was like bonus, bonus stack, deal stack. I had enough resolve and I had gotten to a place where I was ready to just invest in where I was at. And I knew I wasn't at that space of being ready for content. Um, like a whole 90 days worth of content. Yay! There's the link for you guys. Um, content that converts. Workshop. I'm so excited to attend that. And hopefully you'll see me more frequently here and not just sporadically when I get these hits of inspiration. Um, yeah. Um, so let me just finish it up by saying only buy what you need to buy, right? This is gonna save you so much money and understanding all the marketing gimmicks. I mean, start watching these commercials, right? Um, you ladies have your own business. You guys need us, you know, start tuning in to what you're seeing on commercials and seeing the trends and how they are marketing to you. Like, watch, pain pleasure and this is why you should buy or especially if you watch something like qvc because there's even a qvc technique and psychological buying triggers so if you've ever caught yourself buying something from an infomercial which i have i mean yes they're good deals but do you really need it do you really need it so today's tip is all about buying smart buying just in time so and also buying it in a time and place where you can directly implement. So hope that's going to save you some money today and every day going forward. And don't give in to the FOMO. Because yeah, Linda dropped a link and you're like, I want to do it. But honestly, check within yourself. Is it in alignment for you right now? Of course, we'd love to have you. But it's going to be... A waste for you it's gonna cause resentment in you if you buy it and it doesn't do what the landing page says it's supposed to do because you weren't ready and this goes for anything that you buy so there's any program that you feel resentful about or you feel angry at yourself that you bought it and you never implemented it one, there's marketing and psychological buying triggers that you probably were brainwashed into. So just forgive yourself for that. And also go back. Go back and look at the things that you bought. And see, because maybe you bought a year, two, year, two years ago. You're in a better space now. You've learned more. Your brand has evolved. Go back and into your Dropbox Cemetery 
look at all the courses that you bought and see what pieces you can pull out that you can implement now. I mean, I just did that right before we hopped on this live and I looked at offers that I've created. I honestly, all right, I'm talking about systems now, but I've had a course called Streamline Your Systems that I built in 2018. God brought it to my attention just now, right before this live. And it has so many things laid out in it and what systems I'm gonna teach on and why. So much good stuff in there and it's sitting in my own cemetery, my G Google Drive cemetery. I'm telling you, you guys have so much stuff stuck in your cemeteries. Go look at it before you buy anything. So that's my money saving tip today. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this live. And again, I want to know, what did you buy? What's like your, your biggest buyer's remorse thing that you ever purchased? Let me know in the comments. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye. Talk to you soon from a new location. I'm not going to be here. <laughs> not going to be here in this space. Um, stay tuned for next week. You'll never know where I show up. So hope to see you next week. <laughs> Bye.